Welcome, karmic psychics. How are you all this wonderful Monday morning, the 27th of February? The reading is going to be for the 27th of February till the 5th of March. I hope all of you are well and rested. As you know, that karmic psychic believes that all her listeners should take time for themselves, self-love and rest before they face the daily routines of life. Be grateful for the little things each day and your life will pass you by beautifully. Now today's discussion is going to be on love um, through a little summarization from the Vedic perspective on a conjunction of Jupiter and Venus which is happening right now um, and also then through the tarot cards. So let me just give a quick uh, overview is that Venus um, has moved into the house of Pisces from the 5th of February till the 11th of March um, and it is in this house of Pisces where it is extremely comfortable and enjoying pleasures. Venus is here now with Jupiter. Now naturally Pisces um, is ruled by Jupiter. So Jupiter is very happy in this house. And with Venus, again, they are both extremely happy. So when Venus is exalted um, in the 12th house, this is known as Malavya Maha Purusha Yoga. This is when Venus is exalted um, or in its own sign. And we say that when it's in the Kendras 1, 4, 7 and 10, it will bestow prosperity and happiness so when it comes to females your relationships with your friends other female friends well this will be a good transit between the 15th of february to the 11th of march where you will be perhaps um, discussing um, talks of going on holiday um, doing a lot of celebrations parties purchasing things together you may also in this time buy a beautiful car a wonderful phone a beautiful new tv you may even buy a new property so this transit is giving you lots of excitement um, and this yoga is bringing you a lot of excitement now the other perspective is, is that when Jupiter will be exalted here in the 12th house with Venus, this is known as uh, Hama Mahapurusha Yoga. And this is when Jupiter is exalted in its own sign um, and will be in Kendra in the 1, 4, 7 and 10 houses, which bestows wisdom and prosperity. Now, the thing is, to simplify it, this yoga, these yogas of Venus and Jupiter, they will be at their most powerful and the people or the star signs, should I say, that will benefit, whether it's your ascendant or your moon sign, will be Sagittarius, Geminis, Virgos and Pisces. I'll put that in order. Gemini, moon sign or ascendant, Virgo, moon sign or ascendant, Sagittarius moon sign or ascendant and Pisces moon sign or ascendant. Now, for Jupiter being exalted in its own sign, this Hama Mahapurusha Yoga means that when it comes to knowledge, studying new things, writing a book, let's say, being a counselor, being a teacher, being a, count, a teacher, trainer, anything where you are imparting knowledge, it's a very good time for that. And also regarding money, any outstanding money that is due to you um, or sudden gifts where financial exchanges are going to take place, this will be also very wonderful. When it comes to relationships, this is a very good time, time to renew um, existing relationships, renew them, restore them. Um, and also if any of you have friends um, or family from abroad, because the 12th house for me is always representing travel, isolation, people that you can't always meet. I feel this is a very good time in which you will meet them. So 15th of February to the 11th of March, this is the time in which perhaps you will even meet or reunite with uh, family or friends which are abroad. Now, this yoga, I will use it to do the reading through tarot and a little bit of combination of the Vedic aspect 
regardless. So let's look at Aries. So Aries, I would say that for you, there is two sources of income coming your way. Your communication skills in the work life is going to pay off this week. This week and next week in particular, I feel that you are going to be um, coming uh, suddenly into new opportunities um, and a lot of new um, new people, new groups of people that would like to take on, take you on board, I would say. Um, with regards to relationships, I will say that maybe someone through work is going to be quite forthright and ask you out. Um, because uh, they can see that you're very focused on your work and, you know, they may use meeting you for dinner um, to discuss work, but really they have more feelings for you than they um, are going to express. So they will be slowly trying to enter into your life between now and next week. This time, I would like to say, Aries, your work life has always been on the forefront um, but this is time to book holidays. This is a time to meet up with new friends and old friends, uh, but not always discuss work. Aries, this is a time to start delegating to your family some of the things that you do, like let's say the house chores. This is a time to not always be the one to do it. This is the time to delegate with other family members to help you out so that you can Use this time to pamper yourself. You truly need to pamper yourself. And I do see that this week and next week, that a date is most likely to fall into your lap and it can be through work. So good luck with that. For Taurus, as I look at your star sign, it shows me that you will be very emotional this week and next week. You will be missing um, your parents or you will be feeling very emotional when speaking to your mother. Um, the home life is going to be your biggest concern. I will say to you that this is a week and next week is very important to reconnect with loved ones um, and spend some quality time together. I also feel that this is a week, um, especially for those um, at work, is not to gossip um, about anyone because this is a time when some heated arguments could take place if you are not careful. This is a week to keep yourself to yourself and not to discuss anything personal with anyone. Otherwise, it could backfire. But this week, Venus, this is a good week for you for new beginnings and the ending of old chapters. Your health is important, your diet is important, but I think mixing with old friends and reuniting with family is going to make you very happy this week and next week. Good luck. Moving on to Gemini. Gemini, this is a week where you will have to be communicating a lot with your father or with authorities this week and next week. I also see there's positive changes and joy coming to you through your work. Your hard work is going to pay off. I also feel that someone from your past may try to re-enter your life Gemini's this week and next week. There is also um, a wedding celebration within the family that's to take place at some point in the year. And I feel that um, you will be planning what you're going to wear already. Um, so there's a lot of excitement there. When it comes to your health, I feel that your health is going to go into another level of good routine because Gemini's this week and next week, I feel that your health has going is going through a great transformation right now and you are going to see positive results and feel a lot better about yourself there's also a possibility that a lot of you may want to write a book or journals and i can see you writing and communicating immense um and getting yourself out there um in the public domain and i really feel you're going to do very well take care of father's health or please be careful um, with authorities, give transparent information 
be transparent and you will it will pay off for you. So do not worry. Good news will come to you through legal um, battles or work. Now, when it comes to cancer, cancerians, this is the week to heal. Next week is also the same. A week to heal your stomach. You need to address your diet. I feel that your diet has got out of place slightly. I also feel that you have to avoid going into depression. This week, you will have to be avoid being extra sensitive um, and keep your professionalism going. I also feel for some of you that there is a clean break coming. Some money is coming to you um, in the next couple of weeks that was owed to you. Um, but I feel that you need to I feel that you need to be careful um, not to bring your work home. Let your time at home be about family and relaxing because I feel that you're unable to relax Cancerians this week and you have some very good news coming to you regarding your work but it can't always be about work it has to be about your family if you are thinking about going on holiday and you're not sure I will say book that holiday take some time out I see that the month April and May for holidays will serve you well so if you need to pre-book now this week and next week seems to be good be careful with your lower back and avoid confrontations with family members who you know um, can try to create an imbalance in your home life. Try to be more professional and diplomatic in your home and work life. I hope that makes sense for you Cancerians. Moving on to Leo. Leo, this is a wonderful week for you. I feel that you're going to be uniting with lots of good friends, perhaps from abroad. I feel that you're going to be going on shopping sprees. I feel that people are going to appreciate your hard efforts. I feel that at work, you're going to get good rewards as well. Um, I feel that socially, you're going to be busy this week and next week. If for those who have children, this is a week where you will feel much joy and peace with children and perhaps some good news from their school regarding their progress. With regards to um, Leo's this week, I can say that you will be a great, a great listener and a great healer for many of your friends. Um, but do take time out for yourself. Curb your spending where you can. I also feel that uh, some of you may take on um, a new membership at the gym, um, a membership doing yoga or something that is out of your comfort zone. I feel that like you're embracing a new hobby. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on to Virgo. Virgo, I feel that you are going through some sort of transformation here. It's almost like you're grieving the the old you and you're finding it difficult to accept the new you. But I want you to know, Virgo, that you should not take your frustrations out this week or next week on others for situations that are not suiting you. I feel that a transformation is coming to you and this transformation is going to be very, very lucky and auspicious for you. It's like you're growing, you're spiritually growing. And when you look back, your work life, your self-worth, your confidence is all going to shine and bloom. You're going through what I will say is a is a new life, a new beginning. Um, you will see an improvement in your home life or you will move out. But I feel that the change is going to bring you a lot of peace, which you have been lacking in the last 18 months. So good things are here for you. With those who've applied for new jobs, this week and next week, I feel that you will perhaps get good news regarding your career. A new opportunity, a new beginning and money is coming. Avoid conflicts with those who don't really matter anymore. Avoid the past, live in this present moment, Virgos. Love and light to you. Moving over to Libra. Libra, this is the week where you will achieve a lot more through your kindness, curb your spending. I think that you're... Um, 
I think that you know that you're spending a lot, but you're not wanting to to accept it right now. You're enjoying the fantasy of spending, but do curb your spending, Librans, this week and next week, um, and let go of control issues. You know, at the end of the day, if people are not listening to you right now or doing what you want right now, it doesn't mean. Um, that you are not being heard or recognized. Your self-worth is still very important. Give people time. Learn to forgive and learn to move on. Release the past and enjoy the present moment. Get into a lovely new routine and you will see that as you balance your new beginning or your, your work life with your personal life, that you're going to see a lot more success and opportunities coming your way. I want you to also eat better, improve your diet. And I also want you to know that there is some money coming to you that was outstanding. Um, I also want you to understand that none of us are perfect. We're all on a spiritual journey. And Librans, this is a week where we wasn't we mustn't feel that our righteousness or feel that we are so right that we are unable to forgive others because we are all human and we are all learning. We may not always be right, but we're all learning the difference between right and wrong. And with time, things will change. Things will improve. So focus on the moment of now, Librans, um, and learn to forgive and forget and just move on. Move on. Let's move over to Scorpio. So Scorpios, what can I see for you? So Scorpius, what I can see for you this week is I can see an improvement in your work life. I can see that you're feeling more confident. For those who are mothers, I feel that your children are going to bring you much joy and they're going to really communicate and work around you. You're going to feel the support from your children this week and next week. I also feel that you're going to land yourself up into some sudden jobs um, purely by being at the right time at the right place. I feel that you're speaking um, in a very good way. Um, so the universe is sending you positive, positive people around you to help you to the next step. Have faith. Um, things are going to change. Now, if anyone has been gossiping about you or trying to do things against you this week, you will feel or you will see that an apology is coming to you or you will feel that you have done the right thing by cutting certain people out of your life um, as you will eventually receive an apology and your life is only going to get better. I will say to you when it comes to your diet that this is a, a week again where good health is showering itself on you and a good routine you are finally making for yourself before you show yourself to the world. With regards to your love life, I will say that you will get the support of your loved ones, um, whether you're, you're in a relationship or not, you will get the support of your loved ones. For some of you, there will be a new love interest um, by next week. Um, especially as the full moon will be around and we will discuss that in next week's episode. Good luck to you, Scorpios. Moving over to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is a week and next week is a week where you will be very popular. Your friends will make you feel very special. You will be excited about your bright future. Things are finally happening for you. Your work, which was not... Um, which was delayed slightly, is now moving forward. You're getting the right people to help you. You feel that things are new. When it comes to your children, for those who have children, you will be a great support system. For those who are single, this is a time when you will let go of old relationships and re-enter an old relationship and use your wording very carefully to express how much you have changed and matured um, and you're going to bring a new 
a new energy to a, to a relationship because you're now becoming more grateful for the relationship aspect. That a relationship that you took, took for granted, I feel that now you're going to reinforce yourself in it. Um, and it's going to bring you a lot of satisfaction and joy. Now, avoid trickery from some jealousy friends who are jealous of your progress, but let them go. Keep them at arm's length and just be aware that don't let people's opinions stop you from your, from your career growth. And when it comes to your personal relationships, don't share everything to everyone about what you do in your relationship. This is a personal matter. So be strong and be private, you know, be mature about your relationship. Don't be so immature. Um, there's some good news regarding your career. I can see that great opportunities are knocking at your door this week and next week. Well done, Sagittarius. Moving over to Capricorn. Capricorn, here I can see that there are some good changes in your um, home life. For those who are wanting to move out or for those who are wanting to do things to their property, to refurbish it, Capricorns, you're going to go through a good time. Financially, you will get that loan that you've been waiting for. Please take care of your lower back and for some, take care of mother's health. I will also say to you that this is a time to heal, where healing is about letting go of the past grieving process and moving on with your life and appreciating the people that are around you and giving you the support. This is also a time for Capricorns when you have to understand that love is an equal exchange. It is honest and it doesn't have secrets. So if things bother you about your relationship, the best person to talk to about it is the person who you are in a relationship with um, and not to and not to hide away from expressing the things that make you unhappy about it. So this week and next week, I see a huge improvement in your mindset, the way you approach your relationships um, and to be careful with mother's health, help her where she needs your help. Now, let's move on to Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, for you, I see prosperity and I also see boundaries being set with your family members and loved ones. Aquarius, this is a time when prosperity, new opportunity, success is looking at you. You're not sure which opportunity to go for because you may have one or two in mind and you're not really sure where to invest your time. I will say to you that more than the the opportunities, looking at their pluses and vices, I will say to you, it's very important for you to actually feel comfortable with the people in the new business or the people that you're going to work with because um, if, they're, if you're feeling uncomfortable about the, the colleagues that you're going to work with, this is what can affect your progress in that career eventually not actually looking at this in terms of money money will always come right if the if the venture is good but the people that you're working with is even more imp more important if you're not getting a good feeling um i would ask you to rethink your strategy good friends can come to give you good advice but ultimately you have to make the, your own decisions there will be in relationships I feel that there's going to be, I will say to you, let go of control issues. If your partner does not agree with you, it doesn't mean that you have to get frustrated. Just learn to accept that you don't agree, um, but don't let it drag on in the relationship. For those who are single, Aquarius, a true love relationship is entering your life. You can meet this person through a holiday or through a good friend. I feel that this is a good time for love for you. I also think this is a good time for you to enjoy yourself in your travels, with buying new clothes, indulging in new food and culture. Aquarius, this is a time of immense spending on nice clothes and being around good friends. I will also say to you that if there's any legal disputes 
that um, have been lingering that this is the week and next week when that will also get uh, completed. Do not be afraid to speak up and don't always be a people pleaser, Aquarius. Love and light to you. Moving over finally to Pisces. So Pisces, this is a week for those who are single that you'll be flirting um, and you will be getting the attention of someone that you really like. This is a good time to book a holiday away for those who are not single and in a relationship because I see travel for Pisces who are single and not single. Pisces, I also see this is a time for new uh, work opportunities and promotions. This is also a time at work. If there has been a bit of sadness regarding your work, it's saying that now this is a time, the week to get back your control. Um, and things will improve with your coordinates at work. Please check on your father's health, Pisces. Um, and for those who have children, this is a time when you may have to take care of one of your children a little bit more. Um, so Pisces, be careful. Um, pay attention to your child. If they say they've got a stomach ache or they've got a sore throat, don't be flippant. They may actually need to spend some time at home and get rest. So be careful and mindful of that. Now, when it comes to... When it comes to your emotions this week, Pisces, again, it's better not to live in the past, but to live in the present moment. Don't let past experiences make you feel quite um, negative about lack, lack of enthusiasm. That's the word I'm looking for. Don't lack enthusiasm, Pisces, this week and next week, just because you've been upset in the past regarding particular people. You know... And you don't want to move ahead to reunite or to let things go. You know, uh, life is a is a moving train. Um, and sometimes you've got to move with it. For a loved one, family member, you may have to let your grudges down, your guard down, and speak to some people this week and next week that you are that you were hoping not to meet. But if you do, Pisces, you'll feel better for it. I see socially this is a good week and next week is a good week for you. I also feel for those who are studying that you will make much progress. Set your boundaries, make time to study and make time to socialize. Um, and I do see that you will have a lot of romance for the singles here. For those who are married, I feel that you'll be celebrating your anniversaries, birthdays a lot this week and next week. So this is not a bad time. Just let go of the old grudges and move on, Pisces. Okay, so these are the readings for all star signs. I will love you and leave you this week, Karmic Psychics. And I look forward to our episode next week when I will be giving you some manifestation techniques, new ones, um, which you can even take from my book, 2023 Top Manifestations, and I will leave a link for that. Um, it's on Amazon. Just type in Karmic Psychic and you will see all my books and t-shirts on there. Love and light to you all. See you next week when I will be discussing the new moon rituals and how the new moon will affect all of you star signs. Love and light. Take care. See you soon. Oh, and before I forget, there is a 20% discount on my website. For those who would like to have a personal reading, go to www.karmicpsychic.co.uk. Go to the Contact Us page. Send me your details um, and I will take 20% off at the paying cart. Um, so let me know. Lots of love. Thank you for all your messages and your support. And thank you for those who are enjoying my personal readings on a one-to-one. -one. And I look forward to speaking to all of you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.